an Arkham with zero shields against the Giratina with two shields. Can we win this match? What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, we do upload daily PvP content. So please consider subscribing if that is of interest to you. It helps the channel grow. And if you're a returning subscriber like Stephanie Ma, thank you so much for your support. So in today's video, we are going to be taking a look at a team which I have featured in the past, but with one key change, and that is switching out Swampert for Gyarados. Let's see how it plays out. First match against Xavi Alonso, 14, and we're gonna be leading Giratina into Empoleon. So Giratina versus Empoleon is obviously a very feral match for Giratina. The only thing we have to be afraid of is the Blizzard from the Empoleon, and I believe it takes 10 waterfalls to get to Blizzard. So at this point, if I'm counting correctly, he's at about seven or eight. But as you're going to see, I actually was not counting at the time of this. I was just more focusing on my own move, which is definitely a mistake. And here, uh, he definitely did not get to 10. This at most is nine, so there's no way this is a blizzard. Might be a flash cannon, but I chose to burn the shield. So at this point, because I chose to burn the shield, and I saw there was hydro cannon, I was wondering now, and also you should be going for dragon claw. I'm pretty sure there's no need to be going for Shadow Sneak against the Empoleon. Uh, you could still win just going straight Dragon Claw, but I guess it doesn't make too much of a difference. And here I assumed, okay, if he hit Hydro Cannon, maybe now he has enough for Blizzard. So I chose to use the Shield again, which obviously is another mistake. He might not even have Blizzard, to be honest, he might have Flash Cannon. But I'm down two Shields now, and he brings in a Clefable. So all this energy on the Giratina pretty much went to waste in a sense. And instead of switching out here, I'm just going to throw the energy because even though it's not doing much to Clefable, it's still going to chunk away at it. But the only problem is that these aren't going to command any shields. So we are in a pretty problematic situation right now. And what I'm thinking about right now is, am I going to bring in the Articuno or the Gyarados? Now, if I bring in Gyarados, obviously the Dragon Breath is going to be resisted by the Clefable. Fortunately for me, I did get to another charge move here. And maybe I'll think this is Shadow Sneak, but it's unlikely. But either way, we did bring it down very low. And I can't bring an Articuno here because Meteor Mash is going to hurt. So I have to gamble and go with the Gyarados, even though these Dragon Breaths are being resisted, because I need that health on the Articuno. Because Articuno is basically the only win condition here if they happen to have something like maybe a um, Giratina in the back, for example. Now, if they have like a Registeel in the back, we would kind of be screwed. But regardless, it's looking pretty good, pretty bad for us either way. So uh, we did faint down and it's actually a Giratina. So I switched out the Gyarados so it can't get farmed down. And now it's an Articuno with two shields against a Giratina. Sorry, an Articuno with zero shields against the Giratina with two shields. Can we win this match? So because it has Dragon Breath, I think it makes this match a bit more favorable for us. So I'm just going for Icy One. I need to debuff this thing as soon as possible. We know it's going to use its shields. And I'm just going to keep throwing these Icy Winds, hoping to get to the second one. He actually beats me to the second Dragon Claw, which is a little bit brutal for us. But I know that if I could get just one more Icy Wind after this, this one gets shielded here, we should be able to win this game despite having been down two shields. So I throw the Icy Wind here. We definitely expect the shield to come up. It does. And at this point, we should be able to Icy Wind it one more time because of the two debuffs. This Dragon Claw should not KO. That should allow us to get to one more Icy Wind. And I believe that will be enough to knock out this Giratina and win us this match despite having been down two shields. As you see, we get there with literally one HP. And I'm going to throw this Icy Wind. Will this be enough to knock out the Giratina? Yes, it is. And we come back to win that match despite the huge misplay in the initial lead match, which almost cost us the game. So 1-0, facing no lux given here in match number two of this set. And obviously leading a Duskull, he definitely has no lux given, for lack of a better word. And as you can see here, I actually um, was like, why is this guy tanking? So I actually didn't attack and I decided, you know what, this guy could either attack me on his own or he could quit the match but I'm just gonna sit in here and let him do it so eventually the match did end he uh, he quit so because that match kind of you know that match kind of sucked 
I'm throwing in a bonus battle here. This is from a different set, but just to give you a full five battles instead of this four plus one thing. So another Empoleon lead, and this time I'm definitely trying to be aware of the count. So I go for Shadow Sneak here, and I'm pretty sure that after this set, I ran the simulations and I saw that Dragon Claw wins the match too. So I'm pretty sure I just go straight Dragon Claw most of these matches now instead of going for the Shadow Sneaks. But it does look like Shadow Sneak does uh, slightly more damage to the Empoleon. And actually, I think the pressure of the Shadow Sneak actually makes the opponent choose not to throw the, or like panic, I guess, and just throw the charge move before fainting. As you can see here, this opponent actually did not have Flash Cannon. And I believe that was 9 Waterfalls, that's why I didn't shield, but it may have been 10 as well. And if it was 10, it was definitely a risk on my part. But um, we did survive that, and he brings in Clefable, so I am going to get off this Shadow Sneak. And this pretty much looks like a mirror match of the last matchup, but it is a different opponent. I was starting to think for a second that I put the same match in twice, but no I didn't because I didn't use any shields on the Hydro Cannons either. So this time, as you can see, instead of bringing the Gyarados, I brought in the Articuno this time. To take this Clefable. So, Clefable gets hit by the Icy Wind. It's going to throw a Meteor Match most likely, so I am going to shield this. And because it's running Charm, it's very unlikely it's going to get to a second charge move. So I am going to commit to the farm down here. And now the Charizard comes in. And what I decide to do here is throw the Icy Wind because since this is the last Pokemon, I'd rather have this Charizard debuffed so that it can't, because it can't switch out to reset, right? So I feel that that's more important than getting the extra damage with Ancient Power. And that's why I'm going straight Icy Wind here against the Charizard instead of throwing an Ancient Power. Now, we did get a shield, and I bring in Gyarados. And at this point, Gyarados versus Charizard is such a favorable matchup. And because it's been debuffed as well, it's going to be doing even less damage. So I could pretty much just commit to the farm down here. I actually don't even use my shield. And we just Dragon Breath down for the win. So Gyarados, very good. Dragon Breath, super good move. Aguiar AF here in the next match. And the reason I tried to switch down to Gyarados here is because I think with the lag and that current glitch after charge moves where it pauses, Dragon Breath is so overpowered. And that's the main reason why I'm using Gyarados right now. Because it really does well in those situations. So in this match up here, I'm running Giratina into a Gyarados lead. So Gyarados is a pretty tough matchup for Giratina. I believe Giratina could actually win this in the two shield matchup, um, if I remember correctly. But it's still very close. And Crunch comes in here, so I do decide to shield this. And at this point, because I, because I used one shield, it's pretty likely that we're going to get a shield from the opposing Gyarados as well, assuming they want to maintain switch advantage because I should be able to get to another Dragon Claw. He actually got to Crunch before me, so wow. So he actually didn't need to shield and he would've won this matchup regardless. But uh, he did get to Crunch there. I wasn't expecting it to come that quickly. And now I bring in the Articuno into the Gyarados. You could also bring in the Gyarados to face the Articuno, or to face the other Gyarados, but I decided just to bring in the Articuno here, and I'm committing to a farm down at this point. I'm not going to throw any energy and save all of it for whatever comes in next. And it happens to be a Cresselia. So I'm going to debuff this Cresselia, throwing this Icy Wind. Lower that attack. And now I'm going to switch into the Gyarados. And try to get off these crunches. And because it's been debuffed, this isn't as threatening of a matchup. So it actually puts the match a lot more in favor for Gyarados. And we did correctly call the future site, so that's amazing for us. And I'm just farming up so much energy here. Gonna go for the crunch. We did over farm a little bit. And let's see if they're gonna use a shield or switch out here. They do burn the shield. And it looks like they're actually staying in this matchup. They actually switch out very late and bring in a Swampert. And because that switch was actually so late, I'm going to be able to get to this Hydro Pump. He may have had a Hydro Cannon ready. And if he did, he should have definitely have thrown there. Because this Hydro Pump actually knocks out the Swampert. And that is huge for us. Because if the opponent actually landed the Hydro Cannon there, 
our Gyarados would have been low enough to the point where I believe that Future Sight would have KO'd. And then I would have come in with the Articuno here and thrown this Icy Wind. But it would not have been enough to KO this Cresselia. And the Cresselia at this point would actually beat me to the charge move, which would have knocked out the Articuno and won them the game. But because my Gyarados is still alive, because that Hydro Cannon was not thrown, assuming they had it ready, I'm able to come in here and farm down with the Dragon Breath on Gyarados. So GG's there. And that's another reason why Dragon Breath is so powerful in these late game situations. It's just so quick. It's a lot like Great League of Altaria and whatnot. And it's super overpowered. Nimco is up next, leading the Grand Bull into the Giratina Altered. And I am going to be obviously in a very poor matchup here. But as we've seen in some videos in the past, the way I like to go about this when I don't really have a, a good counter for Grabble or any Fairy type in particular is I just stay in with Giratina and I try to build up for two charge attacks at least and just throw them back to back. Grabble is actually probably the most preferable one because it does seem to be a bit more glassy than the other two and as you can see it actually ends up burning the shield. It does not need to burn a shield there but if it doesn't it'll be extremely low to the point where depending on its IVs if I bring in Dragon Breath Gyarados I can actually farm it down before it's quick enough to throw its energy. So um, that's how I play that matchup most of the time. Not always, most of the time though. And here I did decide to shield because I didn't want to get hit by the close combat. And I do farm down with Articuno. They're going to bring in a Registeel. So obviously this is the worst thing you want to see. And I bring in Gyarados here. And they have their own Gyarados. So this is not good for us. I'm going to go for the Crunch here. Uh, obviously I could have tried building up for the hydro pump and throwing that but i mean if they choose to burn a shield then we would end up losing this match too and it becomes a little obvious we're going for hydro pump so i decided to just throw the crunch and i was hoping to farm down before we could get to a charge roof i was not able to and i actually am going to let this go through which is a huge mistake obviously because articuno on the back can't beat registeel so i need i need the gyarados in order to win anything the only way i could possibly win this for articuno is if i threw an ancient power here and got the boost and then with a shield, maybe I could pull off some Miracle. Even then, it seems extremely unlikely. But imagine here I threw the Ancient Power, I got the boost, and then an Icy Wind. Then we might have a chance, to be honest. We Actually, we would legitimately have a chance, because I did it yesterday against the Registeel. And they had a Registeel and a Giratina, and I somehow pulled that off with boosted Articuno. So, they did make uh, an error in that particular match I'm referring to, but... Uh, regardless, as you can see here, we're getting destroyed. And I'm just going for the Ancient Power boost here because I literally have no play here. The Registeel is going to take that very comfortably. They still have a shield and at this point Flash Cannon should be enough to KO. I'm not throwing any Icy Winds basically so it's not really that deep off. Actually I think I threw two Icy Winds. As you can see it did survive with the Icy Wind. I get one more Ancient Power off for Pride and uh, let's see if I get the boost now when it's totally unnecessary just to rub it in my face a little bit. They did burn the shield at least. And Flash Cannon's gonna come through. These have been some very quick Flash Cannons. And they're gonna knock us out. They really need the Flash Cannon there, but just to uh, add insult to injury. So well played by the opponent there. And we're gonna move into the next matchup here against 3 2 1 Gabri. And we're gonna leave Giratina into the Clefable. So obviously, another very, very bad lead situation. And we've faced quite a bit of bad leads in this set, actually. And as you can see, we're currently 4-1. So uh, the team performs pretty well, but it definitely depends on what's in the back. And when in switch advantage, they switch into Charizard. Last time you saw, I went for Icy Wind as the first move. This time, I'm deciding to go for Ancient Power here. And they let it go through. And that's actually going to help to flip this matchup here. At this point, a Blast Burn is going to KO, right? So I'm going to actually choose to burn a shield. It is a Dragon Claw. So we get, they get the Dragon Claw bait. And I go for a very aggressive farm down. We do beat it. If they were going for Blast Burn, because Dragon Claw would not KO there. But if they threw another charge move, I might have been forced to shield anyways, unless I wanted to gamble. But we did beat them. The Charizard goes down. Clefable comes in now. And, you know, it's obviously nice to get rid of this Clefable because the gear team is going to be very weak to it. But usually these teams with Charizard and Clefable do run like a double fairy type. So let's see if that's what they're doing here. We do get farmed down. And 
I bring back in the Giratina instead of the Gyarados here. And now if you're asking why did I do this, it's because my Giratina already has a lot of energy and I could just spam these Shadow Sneaks now which are going to apply a lot of pressure to the Clefable. So I did have to shield the Moonblast because that was going to be super effective. And now I go for the Shadow Sneak, it's going to do a lot of damage, they do shield. I should be able to get to one more Shadow Sneak before they get to another charge move. So this is actually going to knock out the Clefable now. And I don't know if they shielded because they thought they get to another charge move or because they just wanted that extra damage from Charm because it's more effective than their last Pokemon. That may have been the case because it's actually a Swampert and we're in an amazing spot now because Giratina will throw this Dragon Claw and then I have a Gyarados in the back which is going to do really well against Swampert. And normally I would come into this match and it would be my own Swampert versus theirs in the back and that would be very tricky. But with Gyarados, it's a lot, lot easier. So I actually switch out into Gyarados right now because I did not want my Giratina to get farmed down at all. And I know that the faster I bring in the Gyarados, the more solid of a win this is going to be. And we do get off the crunch. And that's going to lock up this win for us. And we're going to take that. So we're going to go 4-1 in this set. Pretty positive set. A very good team. And definitely a team that I would recommend trying if you have tried out my previous team of Giratina, Articuno, and Swampert. This one performs just as well, if not better in some situations. It comes down to preference. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like, commenting, subscribing to the channel. We're almost at a thousand subscribers. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.